tier. I don't know if I've had, I don't like, is this news? I don't even know. Like what is news anyway, at this point? Um, I'm not sure, but, uh, this clip has been going viral on Twitter this morning and I think it's hilarious. Uh, and so this is, uh, this is president Joe Biden basically telling it how it is when it comes to gun nuts in America, bitch. Your little fucking toy gun from 1856 is not going to stand up to the United States military. Let's watch. The Second Amendment from the day it was passed limited the type of people who could own a gun and what type of weapon you could own. You couldn't buy a cannon. Those who say the blood of the, the blood of patriots, you know, and all the stuff about how we're going to have to move against the government. Well, the tree of liberty is not water of the blood of patriots. What's happened is... The fuck, wait, did this motherfucker say the tree of liberty? Like, bro, what do you... What? The tree of liberty is not water uh -huh. of the blood of... Well, the tree of liberty is not water of the blood of patriots. What's happened is that there are never been... If you wanted to think you need to have weapons to take on the government, you need F-15s and maybe some nuclear weapons. The point is that there's always been the ability to limit, rationally limit the type of weapon that can be owned and who can own it. I love this. I'm going to be honest. I love this. I love this. Now, again, when I say I love this, do I mean I agree with him on the policy? No. I just think this is hilarious. I think this is amazing content. I love this for the fucking funny factor, folks. Okay. So you know all these fucking right-wing gun nuts that collect guns and they're like, I'm gone. Now I'm going to stand up against tyranny. Woo-hoo! Right? When... Minneapolis, for example, uh, when the police in Minneapolis occupied the entire fucking city of Minneapolis after they themselves murdered George Floyd, they occupied the whole city for months. Did the right-wing gun nuts go out there and stand up against tyranny? Nope. Nope. What they did was they were talking about on Twitter and Facebook, back to blue. We're going back to blue, folks. Goddamn police going back to goddamn blue. So when tyranny actually comes to your front door, when police are shooting through residential windows because citizens are looking at them marching through the streets like fucking Nazis in 1944, right? When that happens, when tyranny actually came to your front door, you cowered like a little bitch. You want to know why? Because your little confederate gun collection ain't shit. Your little fucking box of fucking 18 fucking 63 revolvers ain't gonna do jack fuck all. Your 20 AR-15s ain't gonna do jack fuck all. You're just a loser. You're a fucking mass shooter want to be and you're a fucking twerp okay now people are interpreting this as joe biden threatens to use nuclear weapons on america okay fine interpret it that way if you want but that's not what happened what he's saying is you are not going to stand up against police you are not going to stand up against military you are not going to overthrow tyranny you're not you're a loser you're a larper and you're a fucking moron now, does that mean I support President Biden's bill or is whatever he's pushing forward? I don't, I'm going to be honest. I haven't read it yet. I'm not, I don't know exactly what they're banning. That said, I don't really give a fuck about assault weapons. I'm going to be honest. I don't give a fuck about the AR-15. Doesn't matter to me. What I care about, like, if you want to have a gun for self-defense, like a handgun, a shotgun, all right, a rifle, okay, an AR-15, I personally, I personally cannot possibly conceive of a scenario where I would want an AR-15 and I would be useful for defending myself. Just can't perceive that scenario. What would possibly happen to me where an AR-15 would be more or more useful than a handgun? I can't conceive of that scenario. What situation would I possibly be in where a shotgun is less effective than an AR-15? Hey, that's just me. I can't conceive of that scenario, right? So do I necessarily care if they're banned? Not really, right? I just don't give a fuck. That's my opinion. Now, again, I haven't read this legislation or whatever. I don't know what he's exactly trying to do. That being said, I don't give a fuck about assault weapons, okay? What I care about are weapons for self-defense, home defense, especially as a queer person in a southern state, right? Especially as a leftist in a southern state. I think it's important to have guns for self-defense, right? I think that that is something that should be actually very much so. Leftists should be arming themselves. They sh especially if you're a person of color in the south, right? 
like with all the shit going on in this world, these motherfuckers, they have proven themselves incapable and unwilling to stand up against tyranny. The only times these gun nut confederate wannabe losers use their guns is when it's on protesters, when it's on malls, when it's in churches, specifically black churches, when it's in schools, when it's in nightclubs, that's when they use their weapons. They're not going down to the police station and standing up against tyranny. They're not shooting out their windows when neo-Nazi uh, police are marching through the streets. They're not doing jack shit. They're posting on Facebook about goddamn Black Lives Matter. What are you? That's what they're doing because they're fucking losers. And if you're offended by this, I got news for you. You're a loser. You're a fucking moron. And you're not going to stand up against jack shit, bro. You fucking failed. You're going to fail again. You're a failure. You're a loser. Go suck your own dick, you fuck. That's all I have to say.